Advanced King Arc, I would already be scared. Didi going up again. Didi is wild. Didi is a wild character. <laughs> already, he just jumped at him and forward aired him before the go even left the screen. Do Pellets beat that? No, I, I doubt it. Characters. Pellets beat what, the Gordos? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Metal Blade does. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things to beat the Gordos, but the thing about the Gordos in this game is that um, Didi ha he has a lot of options to deflect them back at you. And it's like just it just becomes really annoying to try to deal with it. Now I'm, I could be wrong, but I heard that one of the main things that make Gordo harder to deal with is that the Gordo has his eyes closed before he hits it, and that makes it invincible. Really? That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true, but you. you oh can notice yeah, you're right. You can oh it. yeah, no, he did. That just happened because he just shot the crash bomber, and it was invincible all the way so through. So it's like pseudo uninterruptible. Oh yeah, okay, understandable. That's crazy. Didn't know that. I think that's yeah. like the main thing. Until he knocks the Gordo. Oh yeah, he's it, yeah, he didn't knocking the Gordo. Yeah, like if he, he started it, it's gonna it's gonna go somewhere. It's not gonna just stop. And you have to deal with this character in this game. That's that's obnoxious. Um, I mean, good stuff by Helper. Like you have to physically hit DD to stop it. And if you want to get that close, when he can hit you with the hammer and the Gordo, or if you have a move meaty enough that after the after he's oh, done hitting it, it'll hit the Gordo as it, well. Yeah, okay, follow. that makes sense. Yeah. Plus, you're like extending anyway because you're hitting something. Yeah, right now King Arc netting a lot of percent off that edge guard. Um, I think he netted a good like 50% off of that edge guard series. So, yeah. One thing about Mega Man is that um, he does have a lot of ways to deal with the Gordo, just like in general. Like. Uh, that's something that, like, he doesn't really have to try to do with the Gordo because his normal neutral kind of deals with the Gordo, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. See, th that was that was a good time at King Arthur. That was a fake trump, and then he read the jump option. Yeah, he just, like, hit everything. That, I mean, that was smart. Yeah. He had the crash ball on, so he couldn't take the biggest punish for death attacking life for no reason. You're wild for that. You deserve that. I, in all honesty, I don't know if he peeped. He definitely hit that down there. I don't know how he still got hit. What did he mean? hit the down air? When you hit the when you hit the down air, it loses the hitbox, and I saw it get hit. Yeah, I don't know. And it also looked like Helper could detect because he went flying off of the FD underside. So, yeah, we got something King Arc. He's he's pretty much been juggling uh, Helper most of the game, most of the game. Yeah, so he's far. dealing with the nuttiness pretty well. Mm. Helper has been playing most of this game from the ledge. I don't think he has much of a choice. Accident. Yeah, accident. Play yeah. Much. It's the thing that happens. Yeah, like, he's annoying, but, like, how can you really force yourself off the ledge? Yeah. You can't. Yeah, that Gordo is not going to get that done for you. It's he, not. He's going to hold that. Like, all heavies still have to hold that in this game, even though they got buff. Like, they, you still have to hold the mix at the ledge. Because yep. you're heavy, big hitbox. And you can't shield grab everything in this game, so. So, so you, have to, yeah, you have to hold a lot. You got to hold that. So good stuff by uh, King Arc. See where, Stop see what Helper battle. does. See if he stays with the DDD. No, he's not. Oh, okay. okay, I'm gonna stick it out with the DDD. Uh, where are we going right now? Oh, we're going to Town and City. Three, two, one, go! He ate a pellet. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think he ate the metal plate. Nah, no, I think he ate a pellet. Either way, he didn't. <laughs> It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work either way. Ooh, okay. Whoa. That board did so much shield damage, actually. Right? Yeesh. I like that option. Yeah. And the Metal Blade is dealing with that border. Oh, yeah, that, Ooh, that was a weak enough The thing is, also. the Metal Blade is slow. So it deals with the Gordo so well. Because it just kind of stays there. Yeah. Like, only unless he picks it up and throws it, that, it's going slow. Okay. And just like before, he's playing most of the set from the ledge. Now let's see. Now let's see what. Oh my God, he's so crazy. Oh, if he let that go, if he let that go, that's super armor. Not connecting all hits of back air. <laughs> yeah, nice trade. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a scary trap. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm about to say he, he hit twice. That, that metal blade is so. I mean, excuse me, that one should be so devastating. Yeah. Okay. God. Yeah. Chasing him with DDD. Yeah, he's he's actually chasing him with DDD. <laughs> His hitboxes are so Thank big. you, Helper, for up tilting that. Thank you. No one's been answering anything this whole tournament. Thank you. Ooh, okay, yeah, read that jump with the back air. It doesn't matter, he got like four more. Wow, that upgrade really hit him. Yeah, he's jumping from ledge a lot. Yeah. King Arc is catching on onto it. And when you're a fat boy like that, oh, jumping from the ledge is the hardest. I don't know why he did that. So he went he ha he went to the top platform and then went threw himself right back on bridge. I don't know who took more from that I exchange. I don't know what the hell was happening. I don't know why that was. And yeah. Now so that was really smart because he had the crash bomb on him. That so was no. he couldn't whiff punish him. I mean, that was kind of. I mean, he kind of got punished because King Art knew that he was going to do it. He did that the first in the first game. King Art kind of read that and just up tilted. Yeah, but either way, it's a free attempt. Um, but right now, he's just walking him down with his leaf shield. Is that trade again? That down there traded with his up air. Oh, yeah, so a crash bomb was there, and he didn't even deal with that, he just upgraded. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Faded back a little bit too far, and stop throwing. he keeps throwing himself off stage. If he would have got the F smash, that would have been really good. Well, I think that F smash. Ooh. Uh, missed input. Oh, hey, oh, yeah, he's smashing buttons out of that. That's smart. Ooh, that's damage. That's damage. That's, oh, no. That's, the crash bomb kind of like scared Helper off. Yeah, yeah, that was a great crash bomber. It netted him some time to get back to stage. And that was a crazy, that was a crazy air dodge. Yeah, that sounded like nowhere, dude. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm liking these air dodge mix-ups now for Helper. Because King Arc was definitely reading out all, most of his jump options. And I'm pretty sure Helper does not want to die to that again. And he's being very disciplined at the ledge, not really. Yeah, now he's being... This is the most disciplined I've seen Helper. Ooh, okay, that okay, so that will send it back. He parried it? I wonder if the jet hammer's going to come out. He's just doing it. I mean, King Ark isn't doing anything to stop him. Oh, I didn't even notice he had that on him. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. That was pretty good. Okay. I mean, good stuff by King Art. Just, you know, just stuffing out, you know, all, like a lot of DDD's DD options. Just keeping at the disadvantage most of the time. Yeah. Oh, guess I got a play. Okay. GLHF. Later.